Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Ninja Teacher along with Angie today and we're going to show you what the typical teaching attire is for teaching English in Vietnam. So for men, typically you just need to wear some kind of collared button-up shirt along with dress pants and dress shoes. And that's pretty much it. You can wear a tie or no tie depending on the requirements of your center. Typically, you're not allowed to wear any kind of short sleeve like polo shirts, but some centers will give you a polo shirt as a uniform. I know what you're thinking, it's pretty hot in Vietnam, it's way too hot to be wearing this tucked in shirt, long sleeve and pants on the way to my commute to work. What you can do is just wear you know, a short sleeve shirt and shorts on the way and just bring your teaching clothes, change once you get there and that's usually fine. Especially in rainy season, you're going to get soaked anyway, so may as well just bring your teaching clothes to the center and get changed there. And for ladies, you just want to make sure that your chest and shoulders are covered. Um, any type of type of blouse doesn't have to have a collar necessarily, but something nice to go with uh, dress slacks, or you can wear a skirt or dress as long as it's uh, knee length. And you'll want to make sure that you have closed-toed shoes. If you have any tattoos, you want to make sure those are covered as well. I do have a tattoo, so you see I have long sleeves here. And uh, for piercings, some schools do allow piercings. Uh, nose ring is okay for most schools. Uh, we do recommend maybe taking your piercings out during interviews though because then you can ask your um, recruiting manager or, or what is it, your office manager? Yeah, the manager of the center. The center manager if it's okay that you wear your piercings. But we recommend during interviews that it might be best to take it out while you're going through that process. And then for kindergarten, uh, what about women wearing oh, yes. dresses? So if you're teaching kindergarten um, and the younger kids, you're going to be on the floor quite a bit. So dresses are nice because it is hot in, in Vietnam. However, if you're going to be on the floor a lot, you want to make sure that you just have nice, comfortable slacks. Uh, the ones I have, we'll show you in a little bit, are pretty open and airy, uh, good for sitting on the floor. Um, if you're teaching adults, though, you can be a little more leisurely with your attire as far as wearing skirts and dresses because you'll be standing most of the time anyways. So like I said, for men, it's pretty simple. Just a nice button-up shirt with a collar and slacks. And you can get away with wearing short socks because it's hot here in Vietnam and those just make my legs even hotter. And, you know, closed toe dress shoes, and that's pretty much it. And I have one more uh, shirt and pants combo I can show you. So as you can see, just uh, your chest, want, you just want your chest covered and your shoulders covered. Long sleeve if you have any tattoos that you want to make sure those are covered up. So you do want to have, make, make sure you have closed toed shoes. Some centers will require that you have a full shoe. These ones are okay for where I work. Um, and then also for pants, like I mentioned earlier, you want to have something that's pretty comfortable that you can wear, slacks, slack type material. These are really light and airy, so they're good for sitting on the floor as well. Here's a combo number two. Uh, I've got my sleeves rolled down this time, and a tie, and a different color of pants. Going with khaki now. I'd wear something like this with more of an adult class because they expect me to dress even more smart. As for facial hair, as long as you keep it uh, trimmed up, if you already have a beard, that's usually fine. But um, for interviews, obviously, I would shave this completely off. Yeah, just in general, keep your facial hair trim and looking neat, especially for older adult classes. So here's another outfit that would be acceptable uh, teaching kids or adults. Uh, as long as you're not going to be spending a lot of time on the floor, a dress is fine. A uh, collared shirt, I do have short sleeves on this one. Personally, with a tattoo, I would have to cover it, so some options that you can do to cover your tattoos. Many teachers will have a shawl or a kimono of some sort that you can wear like this, and that works for most schools. You just keep it covered up. Uh, that's one option. And this is another one that is just a overlay that you can wear with a short sleeve dress, um, which makes it really easy in traveling on your motorbike to class. You have your dress on, and then you can throw this on uh, during class, and that works too. Sounds very breezy on the motorbike. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> very Stevie Nicks style. Lastly, for people who are of the bigger stature here in Vietnam, if you're worried about buying clothes that will fit you here, 
no need to worry because there are lots of tailors that exist here that here in Ho Chi Minh City or in uh, Hoi An up near central Vietnam you can get stuff tailored for very cheaply. I have not tried it yet but I know that's one way to get clothes that fit you perfectly. Uh, anything else you want to add? Yeah so I've, I've had several friends that have done that as well. One thing to consider is if you can bring anything from home that is a lightweight uh, quick dry type material is really good to have. I've found that to be the most uh, beneficial for my teaching clothes and having items that are not cotton based help as well because those you will sweat through pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. like, like Kyle here. Like this is it's all <laughs> cotton. Yeah. I need to take that. Uh, where do you buy stuff like that? Like um, in the States where I'm from oh, you okay. can get it at REI. Mm -hmm. um, camping type stores like that. So bring it with you. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. Any other questions you have, leave them in the comments and we will try to respond to them. And see you in the next video.